Welcome everyone to your first video for uh, Business Pre-Calc. And uh, already October is being very, very friendly. That's my cat. You will see her very frequently, although today maybe just her tail. We'll see how much trouble she causes today. We're going to start by talking about what is a function, okay? So we have this formal definition that says that a function is basically a rule between an out an input, which sometimes we call the independent variable, and an output or d dependent variable. You put something in, you get something out. And specifically, it, um, if each input value gives a unique output value, if I put something in and I only get one thing out instead of two things, if I get two things out, then it's not a function. But if I put one thing in and I get one thing out, the output is a function of the input, okay? So one thing in, if it's a function, one thing out. If it's not a function, all sorts of wackiness might happen. So let's look at an example, and try to use that. Again, uh, one in means one out. That's kind of what we're gonna think about for functions. In this first example, we're saying, let's say that uh, every year you recorded your age in years and your height in inches. So is height a function of age? Okay, so the output is a function of the input. That's, that's the wording. Okay, so this is the output. And this is the input. So if, if you do this recording, Right, you have all these recordings and you look at an input like say, OK, when I was 32 years old. <laughs> Ooh, I'm feeling old right now. If I was let's give an example that applies to everybody. <laughs> if I was maybe 15 years old, <laughs> I was 60 inches tall. All right. 15 years old was maybe 60 inches. Well. We're only recording once a year, so we had one, our, this is our input, right? And we just had only one output. Oh, that's great. Yes. In fact, if, we, if this is how we recorded this data every year, we'd record the height at the start of that year or on our birthday or whatever, then any year we ask ourselves, we can check and we have one output. We were this many inches tall on that day. Okay, one input was one output. Now, let's flip the question. Is age a function of height? Now, age is our output, which is different from before. And height is our, <laughs> is our input. <laughs> our input. Okay, so how does this change things? Well, now we're flipping the question and saying, okay, um, when, uh, if I were 60 inches... How many years old was that? And some people, this might be a function for. Some people, maybe you're only 60 inches once. Some people, I'm not targeting anyone, but some people are 60 inches for a lot of years. <laughs> some people are five foot tall for many years. And that <laughs> so in that case, this could be a function. We don't know. We really don't know. The other one we knew for sure, but yeah, maybe, maybe we were this when we were 14. Maybe we were also this height when we were 15. Who knows? But in this example, it could possibly not be. Let's box our answers. That's always a good habit to be in. So our answer here is uh, maybe it depends. It depends on your specific data. It doesn't have to be. And here's an example where it could maybe not be. All right, let's keep going. We're at a coffee shop and there's this menu and there's items and their prices. Is price a function of the item? Okay, remember price. Here, here's, the, here's the language. You can go back to the definition for that language, right? The output is a function of the input. So price is the output in this, in this formulation, function of the input. And then we'll ask the reverse question afterwards. So this is really two questions, just like before. It's just not split up into A and B. Okay, well, if I give you an item, let's say at this coffee shop, I'm going to say, 
I'm not particularly creative. Give me a break. Let's, we want <laughs> the price of a coffee. Is that going to have one price or multiple prices on the menu? Okay, I'm not saying, maybe the price changes whenever. But on the menu, if I look up coffee, is there going to be one price or multiple price? There's probably going to be one price. Maybe five dollars. I don't go to coffee store shops. They're probably more expensive than $5, but whatever. Okay, so one input is one output. Check. Yeah, this is a function. And then for our little part B, I didn't really call it part B, is the item a function of the price? So again, if I give a price, say okay um let's look at uh look at everything on the menu that's three dollars and 99 cents and again it's a maybe we don't know what this menu looks like but you know maybe we could get a scone for 3.99 maybe we could get a a, a pop a pop tart <laughs> do they have pop tarts at coffee shops i need to know these things this is the downside of videos i love videos there's so many great things about videos but y'all are probably laughing at me and I, in, in, in class, I get y'all to laugh at me and I get to see it. But yeah, who knows? So again, this one's also just a maybe. We don't know. And it's, it's not supposed to be. The question wants you to say no, but in reality, we don't know. Depends on what our menu looks like. And we got, uh, we got something very similar with example three. We're gonna skip that one for now and move straight to the try it, okay? So I'm gonna uh, want you to stop the video, look at this question, and uh, see if you get it right, and we'll do the explanation afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so considering the bank account information, again, I, I really like labeling it this way. Is your balance a function of your bank account number? Okay, and then there's that little hint. If I put your bank account number, which mine is one, just kidding, I'm not going to fall for that. <laughs> if you put your bank account, yeah, this, is, this sounds like, I got this from the textbook. This sounds like the author of the textbook is trying to get some bank account information. <laughs> okay, so is your balance a function of your input? All right, so you put in your bank account information. Don't you don't share that with anybody. <laughs> And you get a number, hopefully a big number, but you're just going to get a single number for your balance for that account. And maybe you have multiple accounts, but that's going to be like multiple inputs. This account has this um, balance. This account has this balance. Okay. All right. So yeah. Great. You can do a little happy face if you like functions. You can give a little sad face if you don't like functions. Is your bank account number a function of your balance? Okay, well, this one's kind of a weird question. But let's say that uh, oh, um, let's say that your bank account has hundred dollars in it. Okay, maybe that's a big number for you. Maybe that's a small number for you. But let's say your bank account. Let's say we're looking at hundred dollars. Can we tell your bank account number? No. There are got to be there've got to be so many bank account numbers that have a balance of hundred dollars. Yeah, there's how think of how many bank account numbers there are, right? So you know this could be you know Jeff's bank account. Sorry, hold on. Bank account numbers. This should it could be bank account number one one. Two. Yeah, I I don't know whatever, and it could be this other person's bank account number. It could be right. A lot of bank accounts could have this this balance in it. So this one's. This one's definitely a no. Again, maybe we give a little angry face or whatever, but we box our answers. That's uh, what a function is. Now you've got plenty of practice and uh, a little practice on how to not give away sensitive information on the internet. Anyway, have a good one. Bye-bye.